Chicago, AP, Chicago is holding a mayoral election Tuesday, but it will likely take weeks, and a runoff election, before a winner is declared. A look at what's happening. Tuesday's election nine candidates are competing Tuesday for a chance to be Chicago's next mayor. That includes Mayor Lori Lightfoot, who was elected in 2019 and is seeking her second term. Read more. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot takes on eight rivals in re-election bid to win the office outright. A candidate needs to receive more than 50% of the vote. That's unlikely with such a large field, so the race is expected to go to an April 4th runoff between the top two vote-getters. The election is officially nonpartisan and is not considered or called a primary, though all the candidates seeking to lead the city, a Democratic stronghold, call themselves Democrats. In addition to Lightfoot, the candidates are U.S. Representative Jesus, Chewy, Garcia, former school CEO Paul Vallis, Cook County Commissioner Brandon Johnson, businessman Willie Wilson, State Representative Cambium, Cam, Buckner, activist Jamal Green and City Council members Sophia King and Roderick Sawyer. Have runoffs been held before? Municipal elections became nonpartisan and the runoff system was put in place in Chicago starting in 1999. But there wasn't actually a mayoral runoff needed until 2015. That's because Mayor Richard Daley easily won re-election in 1999, 2003 and 2007, getting more than 70% of the vote. After Daly opted not to run again, former White House Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel avoided a runoff in his first mayoral election in 2011. But he was forced into the city's first mayoral runoff in 2015, after failing to win a majority in the February election. Emanuel faced Garcia, whom he defeated. In 2019, Lightfoot went to a runoff against Cook County Board Chair Tony Preckwinkle, a contest that Lightfoot won easily. What are the top issues? Public safety has been the dominant issue in the race, 